All right, hello everyone, this is Mr. Crozier, and these are homework questions from section 5.2. I only had a couple of them, so here we go. Uh, some we get questions about 29 to 31, and then 53 to 54, so I'm going to get you started on both of these. Well, all of these questions are about one formula this, this week, and it's y is equal to c e raised to the k12, which is, or kt, which is just a version of this exponential equation, where we have a starting value here and we have a rate here and we have an amount of time here and we have an amount so it, it's nothing more than this equation which graphs like a curve going up uh, for these ones I believe or no these ones are going down I think all of them are going down here but it's either going up or going down and if we have a positive k it's going up and if we have a negative k, it's going down. So first problem, 25 or 29, says we have an element, carbon-14, I believe. And it says the half-life of it is 5,175 5, years. And it starts at 5. So we need to take this information and put it into this equation. Well, right here is the starting value. So that goes right here where the c is. So y is equal to 5 for the starting e k t but we still haven't figured out what k is and k is a, a, a percentage and it's half-life so it's going down so we have to find this k value well all we do is we substitute in and we find the missing value so what I can substitute in here is that after 500 let's see here after sorry after 5,715 years, right, after this many years with that k value, it's going to be dropped down to 2.5. So that's the point I'm going to substitute in. If, if we were making a chart of inputs and outputs, um, if we input 5,715, the output is down to 2.5. Input 0, we're at 5. But input 5,000 years, we're down to here. And if I drew a picture of that, it'd look like this. Uh, input 5. And if I drop down to 2.5, that's going to take 5,715 years. So this first point's here, this next point here, and it's this gradual curve going down like that. All right, so we have it all set up. Let's just solve for k, divide this over. Uh, that'd be, what, 1 half, right? Because 2.5 divided by 5 is a half. And we have E, um, and we have this crazy exponent up here. But if I take the natural log, that drops down, and we take natural log of this. So on the left-hand side, I have natural log of a half. On the right-hand side, I have 5715K. Natural log of E is 1. So we just have this divided by um, 5. 7, 1, 5, and again, k, let's see here, natural log, uh, let's see, natural log of 0.5 divided by 5, 7, 1, 5, is this tiny little exponent here. If I were to write that out, it would be a negative 0 0.1230 zeros, and then 1, 2. So that's my k value. And I can plug that into my equation. Y is equal to 5 e to the negative 0.00012k. And, whoops, not k, t, right? And I have everything I need. Everything I need to answer this question. How much is it going to be after 1,000 here? Well, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to store this into k. And now I'm going to do 5 e to the k times a thousand years and there we go and that's what it's going to be after a thousand years and doesn't that make sense if I go to a thousand which is right here it's way up there closer to five and then change it to ten thousand second enter go up there and ten thousand ten thousand years it's going to be dropped down and doesn't that make sense because ten thousand is going to be out here and it's going to be above that or below that so find an equation, do this math like this. This math will help you set up the equation and then use it. Um, 53 is the exact same problem. Um, we have time here graphed. We have temperature graphed here. We have a starting amount of 1,500. 
and the temperature is cooling and it's dropping down but in this problem we have a room temperature of 80 degrees we kind of have like a floor on this like it can't go below 80 degrees so the temperature of an item cools down to room temperature and that formula is slightly different it's right here so it's just y is equal to 80 for the room temperature and then this thing going down here the starting minus room temperature is 1420 and it's going to be e k to the t power and again we're going to do the same exact math right here we have an equation and all we have to do is figure out what k is and then plug it in here and how are we going to figure out k well we're going to plug in a point and what point do we know in this problem they give us one point here they say let me read the book 53 after one hour so they do give us this one point they say after one hour the temperature has cooled to 1120 all right so i take my one put it where do we go here for the time and the 1100 here let me rewrite this for you here i'm not going to work this all out but i'll get it set up for you um, e to the 1k or just k power so now what do we have to do just simply solve the equation what can i do i can subtract this over divide it by 1420 take the natural log and i will be at k all right, uh, you can check the answers on Calc Chat for this one. They'll have good work for you and good answers there. So I right, hope this helps with the work um, on your homework.